Well, she can feel the podium, but she has to take her feelings away and push so, so hard. Take the best line around there. I like the way she took it wide on the top, carried the momentum round and through the exit. Latrina missing two. Well, look at uh, Berger's time of 21.34, so we're over a minute behind for Glazrina. Although she did miss one more target than Berger. What a feeling for Ettore Berger to have announced she was retiring this summer and then to come back and at the moment looking good to take two victories from two races. No wonder she came back. Well, uh, as Zaitsevas on the track, uh, we'll hopefully see her skiing through the 7.1 kilometer marker. But for now, Horschler. Look at Horschler's time, 15.10. She's really taking her time over this, so the seconds are just dripping away. But she's hardwired, disciplined. To not let anything happen until she feels it's right. Well, now she can start shooting faster. Because it went wrong. Nope, the hard wiring is there. I'm not going to squeeze that trigger until I feel this is perfect. Well, it's paid off. Just one penalty for Herschler. Brune, she's lost uh, quite a chunk of time on the track. 43 seconds behind and seventh position. Remember, after the second shoot, she was in second position, only seven seconds behind. So, Zaitseva charging in now. What has she been able to pull back on the track? The last checkpoint I have, she was still in fifth, needed to fight one second to move up to fourth, and then another two seconds to surpass her teammate, Fiolokina. She needs to tuck low to cut the wind drafting. She's panicking, the legs have no feeling left. Well, her teammate's time is going to stand. Is she going to make it fourth? I think she is. Fourth place. So Russia, third and fourth. Vilkina has survived on the podium. Ah, but only by what? Four seconds. I think that Zaitseva will be, although a fourth is never fun, I think she'll be satisfied with the, that outing. Zaitseva was only 26th two days ago in the individual race. Horn here taking the, the perfect line, a little wide, but it's safer out there. Showing good strength on the track, although it's a minute, uh, what's that, a minute and a half behind Berger's time. The younger Norwegian athletes are getting better as each race, race goes by almost. Good, good performance, 11th place for Horn. <laughs> Welcome back and uh, a chance just to update ourselves on uh, the standings at the finish at the moment. Tora Berger ahead of Pedrushna ahead of uh, Olga Vilukina, the Russian in third place. Zaitseva just tucked in behind her, some four seconds behind. And Henkel, who led for a large part of their early race, down into fifth position. Kutsmina there in 15th, uh, Solim Dahl, but uh, with four penalties, skiing so fast, but 17th position. At the moment, it's all about Tora Berger. Two days racing in this new season at the World Cup and looking pretty good, to be honest, for two victories. It doesn't come much better than that. And maybe, just maybe the pressure of saying, well, I've had my run, I've done my time, and deciding to finish and then missing it a little bit in the summer, just ticking over. The pressure was off and what a great start to her season. So it'll be the familiar now quite familiar routine of uh, press conference 
telling her story. And later tonight, Massage, she'll be getting some food. I saw she was given a banana there to get energy straight back into those muscles. So important to reload the muscles with tomorrow's race, the pursuit competition. Anderson taking a, a long, long, long time to get the ski poles on. I know that we're wearing big, thick gloves today and the Velcro straps of the, the handles can be awkward, but repetition of anything can make better. And that looks like Amanda Lightfoot. I'll just try and uh, give you her shooting score. I say, Corvina lines up. She's only missed one, and look at her time. It's good. She's certainly performing well. Would have to shoot incredibly fast if she wanted to go out ahead of Berger. Not quite possible. Now, well, Amanda Lightfoot, great job. No penalties. She had a poor day in the range the other day, and she's only 41 seconds behind in 36%, 36 percent, 36 position for the Brit. And uh, this is a brilliant performance from Korovina. Now, can she get her ski poles on fast? Let's get those straps tied up quickly. You need to get the arms into motion quite quickly. You get so much power through the, the arms in the sport. Well, not bad. She's only had uh, three World Cup outings, Korovina, and two of them were in Hanti Mansisk in Siberia at the end of March, where she placed 33rd and 24th. Two days ago, she was 16th, missing only two, and today it's looking even better. Korovina into ninth position as she leaves the range. Matson, was it the local pressure? Was it thinking it was going to be so good and a potential top 12 position? And, and maybe that's what happened. Thinking got in the way. <laughs> well, plenty of interviews uh, to be given there from Tora Berga. Look at the flags on the right. It really hasn't been an easy day, and I think that's why only one person that I can see has uh, cleared all 10 targets, and that's Henkel. Ben, another one of the young Norwegians brought in from her good performances at the IBU Cup. 19-year-old Ben won the sprint at the IBU Cup two weekends ago in Idra. What a pity about that middle shot. Gerland uh, just marking down. He'll show her later where that shot missed. Now, if uh, he'll defend, if she can get her stand shot, she does have a chance to make the top 15, maybe even a top 10. Certainly the, the youngest in the field today. And uh, confirmation uh, still uh, at the end, of course, is Tora Berger, Petrushna, and Vilakina in third position. Zaitseva just missing out there in fourth. Henkel, the only athlete today to get the perfect hit rate. In fact, I'm just seeing another coming through. Of course, Brune, what am I thinking? Two, and uh, Yuki Nakajima, the Japanese athlete, has also got 10 out of 10. Well, a chance to see how the best get out of the range, come into the finish. Desire, determination, and another victory. So we're back out on the track, a chance to see Sukalova, who's having a wonderful start to her uh, racing season. She's so strong. Two penalties in the stand shoot only. In the closing stages of uh, Sukalova's race. Marina, 
Korovina. 47 seconds off. Now, can Korovina pick up more pace here? She managed to get all of her five standing. The standing shoot has been tripping up, has been uh, the difficult aspect of this biathlon for so many of the athletes, just given the, the changeable wind conditions. Sukalova. I think we're going to see something special from Sukalova. Certainly uh, at the World Championships, if not before. 12th position and a good start time, uh, 55 seconds behind tomorrow in the pursuit. Katarina Yorlova, they always seem to put her in the last group. It's a lonely place to race at times out there. Katarina Yorlova, the 27 year old, just coming in now for her prone shoot. Still a few more yet to come in with Lanny Barnes, the American. Bip 103 will be the last to come in for the country. I'm expecting good shooting here from Yorlova. Whoa, she hasn't let us down. Good one. Rostosev. From top athlete to coach, I think he still feels the athlete's pain out there and uh, feels the anger, the annoyance when the, the shots are missed, but uh, Yorlova really hasn't let him down there. This is good. 23.9 seconds behind. Maybe that's why she's in the last group, because her ski speed doesn't overly make her competitive. Effectively, that's one penalty loop, 23.9 behind. Good chance here now to look at the terrain. You're spinning around left, right, climbing, dropping. Your reactions need to be good, your balance has to be great. And your desire, determination in these temperatures is dropping to minus 11 now, actually. Your desire and focus has to be 100%, or you cannot give totally of yourself out here in this set for one of the toughest of sports. Combination is brutal. Cross-country skiing, it's the most... Uh, well, you use the most energy over a set time than any other sport with all these muscle groups used. And then you have to switch off and become a precision target shooter while exhausted. Not easy. 47.8 behind in 12th position for Marina Korovina. Good job. Okay, so Ukraine have, are having a good day. We know that with Petrushna in second place. Diga not able to give quite the same on the range. Meltdown. Ah, uh, that's a real pity and, and a confidence breaker. It really is. Also, Leaf. New name in the Swedish team. And her first ever World Cup. As she felt the pressure, she certainly is able to do five out of five in training and in hard training to give that for her coaches. But at 22 year old, not the most experienced. Now in the background, Bib 84, there's Amanda. I hope she's going straight on and not turning left. Therefore not going on the penalty loop, but I'm sad to say Amanda